Hey, hi there. Welcome to African Living Abroad. This is Chamhuri and uh, I'm here to help you build bridges cross-culturally. So uh, today I'm thinking of doing my posting my first video on YouTube. And uh, what happened is uh, I've been a bit stalling. Of course, I'm a bit nervous and uh, and I just thought about um, sharing with you how I got inspired to to do YouTube. Never in my life have I dreamed of doing YouTube, really. Um, but hey, there's never too, it's never too late, and my life anyway is full of many many surprises. And this is one that really shocked me. So come take a walk with me. This is something I like doing. And by the way, the sun is has showed up today. It rained really badly this evening, this morning. And uh, some people wanted to go fishing and they were pretty disappointed and had canceled their plans. But the sun showed up and the water dried off the ground and you can never tell. It's beautiful. And that is Manitoba weather for you. Yes, uh, so I've been thinking about, you know, and I want to honor the people that inspired me to go on YouTube. Um, uh, I think last year, 2018, I stumbled upon um, <laughs> a Kenyan lady on YouTube. Uh, her, her name is Dr. Mumbi Seraki. Please check her out. She is dynamic. She is courageous. She has a great message for Africans. And uh, she called me. She called me. If you're watching this, Dr. Mumbi Siraki, um, I'm honoring you today because I made a promise to you. I said, um, as I commented on your YouTube channel. And I said to you, you know, you inspired me so much as an African lady that one day I'm going to get off my butt and I'm going to say what I'm, I've meant, I'm meant to, to say. Things that have been brewing in my life for many, many years. And I felt, well, I didn't really commit that much to the avenues that were offered to me. And one of them, I thought I'll write about these things. I thought I'll write about it. And, um, well, writing is a challenge sometimes. The discipline is hard. But you inspired me. And I'm responding. So I want to thank you. And... Another person that inspired me is Eric Ho of Creator Circle. He hangs out on YouTube and on Facebook. Uh, I just watched two, I think two to three videos of Eric Ho's uh, one afternoon. And I think the third one, I felt an electrification in my system, literally. And I felt something came over me. And I knew, I knew somehow that I'm going to be on YouTube. <laughs> and that thought for sure scared me, scared me. <laughs> but I knew and it's like the missing link, the missing puzzle in my life. Yeah, hard to believe. I'm going to tell you what happened that afternoon. My son and I were home alone. My son is 15. And after finishing that uh, Eric Ho video, and I had, after I had this electrifying experience, an inner knowing conviction, <laughs> I went into my, my son's room, knocked on the door, and I was so excited, you know, <laughs> talking to a 15 year old, yeah, a teenager, you know. I didn't expect too much. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to tell him. So I said, guess what? You won't believe it. You know, and before that, I had sent some, you know, YouTube uh, messages or whatever. Uh, shared it with my, my children. A little bit of Eric Ho, my first two YouTube uh, videos that I had seen of Eric Ho. And so they knew, they knew this name. And I'd taken some courses. No, uh, correction. I had taken some uh, courses with Eric Ho. By the way, Eric is my teacher. 
uh, about entrepreneurship, leadership, uh, spiritualism, spirituality, <laughs> sorry. Um, it's my motivator. Check him out. I'm gonna add a link to this video of those two th uh, people that have inspired me. And so they knew about Eric who had taken two courses. And uh, yeah, so I went into my son's room and I said, guess what? I just got an aha moment and uh, I'm going to be doing YouTube. What do you think? And I expected him to say, oh no, mom, please don't embarrass me. That's what teenagers usually what you usually say when they, <laughs> and mo their mother showing up on YouTube. They should be the ones doing YouTube. <laughs> anyway, he, he looked at me uh, and he said, yes, mom, sure. I think you should do it. I can even help you to whatever you need. I said, do you think that I'd be good at it? And he said, yeah, definitely, mom, you can do it. Now I was in for a shock. But uh, I really like that um, affirmation from my son or confirmation. And then later on, I told my older daughter, usually my older daughter, she is a bit critical. She is a perfectionist. And, uh, but you know what? She said, yes, mom, go for it. I think you can do it. I think you'd be really good at it. And I said, you know what? These things have been thinking about wanting to write a book and I have so much material and I think that uh, I'm gonna gonna do that yes she said go for it you can imagine the shock in my face two people in my family have said yes later on I told my 22 year old son and he was equally supportive and he said yeah mom I'll help you with the editing great now I had to tell my husband <laughs> and he he told me hey you can do it you can do it and uh, after I got those confirmations four, uh, four of them I felt yes this is what I needed and I'm telling you this if uh, your family or our families are, are usually people that are full of opinions critical most of the time to get their support sometimes it's not mm, tricky but i've come to understand that family really even when they criticize us or well we call it criticism but i think they have their best interest for us they don't want us to get hurt but sometimes also some of them could be mm, they could be stuck in their own ways but i know that when i advise my family and if it's not an answer they're looking for um, it's not that I don't want them to succeed. I, I just see, I seem to see all the, the loopholes and, and missing links. And I, sometimes I say, wait a little bit, or, well, I'm not too sure about it. Maybe, oh, maybe, maybe not. So I know my role that I'm not always positively supportive, but I, it comes from caring. But I need, I'm learning now to say, you know what, let people do what they feel that they need to do. And if they don't, fi uh, they don't succeed, then they've tried. So I'm learning that. But anyway, my, my husband, my, uh, my daughter and two sons said, go for it. And I slept really well that day. I, <laughs> it shocked me. So, whoa, I don't know where this came from. But Eric Ho, really, really, I don't know what came over me. And I felt that, wow, this is what it is. And I just, yeah. And then a few days later on the weekend, um, following that, I'd been hearing a lot about um, and I never really explored his videos. I know he's a comedian from South Africa who is now living in the States. And when I, <laughs> that weekend, I watched a lot of his YouTubes to catch on. And I realized, you know what? This is a guy from Africa. He, he has a lot of stories to tell from Africa and he's lived out in America. And he has a lot of stories to tell uh, about America to Africans when he goes back to South Africa. And that was really a, a good mix for me. You know, from uh, Dr. Miseraki to Eric Ho to Trevor Noah. And I felt like, yes, I can do it. 
I can do it. So here I am and I think this is going to be my first YouTube uh, video and because I want to honor those people that have inspired me. So I'm going to be sharing a lot about my life. I live in Manitoba, Canada, in the prairie, beautiful prairie. I hope you can see that and really enjoy it. And um, I will be sharing a lot about the cultures I've lived in in Canada as a student a long time ago. And then I lived in Canada, I mean in Germany, 11 years, and that's where I had my kids, and that's where I learned a lot of things about Germany, a place I love a lot. By the way, when my friends heard that I was going to be living in Germany, they were really scared for me. They didn't think I would survive it. But I'm here to tell you right away, those 11 years were very, very good years for me, and I barely experienced anything bad, anything and I'm gonna tell you the code to my successful living there. Successful in the sense that I connected with my neighbors beautifully. Um, they sent their kids to my home all day. I was a stay-at-home mom, so it was like a daycare. I loved it. And uh, I'm gonna experience a lot, uh, share a lot of positive things in this, in this, uh, in my channel, and the great lessons I've learned, even the difficult ones. And I'm going to share about uh, the lessons I learned in my country of birth of Kenya. Hey, so welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like it here in my, in my channel, please share it and subscribe to it. And um, in the meantime, I like you to look at the cultures around you and build those bridges. I am all about building bridges culturally. Until next time, 